everybody I hope everybody's doing well it is a pretty lazy Tuesday for me I'm gonna get on get out on the horses in a little bit later but we've got um, a couple of our boarders horses in the round pen right now so I have to wait for that guy uh, they need their turnout too so that's what I'm doing today uh, right now well I've been catching up on my messages and catching up with my girls and stuff like that uh, because well as you guys know, I'm a terribly, terribly busy lady. <laughs> There's always something on the go. And that just leads me to a side note. Anybody that's leaving comments, if I'm not getting back to you quickly, please, please forgive me. Um, I'm usually outdoors all day. And with the winter, uh, well, freezing my phone, um, I can get it out there on good days, but bad days if it's anything minus two or lower. <laughs> if my phone's out there for any more than about half an hour, it freezes so I usually leave my phone inside the house so I do as soon as I get a chance to answer my messages I am right there like a dirty shirt but please forgive me if there's any lateness on my responses it's not that I don't care and I'm not watching I am and I love everybody's comments and everybody's positivity and support thank you so much I will answer as soon as humanly possible and I will indeed answer you um, I just want to put that out there because I know I've been sometimes 18 hours before I've answered a message that's in between horses sleep and this too so and kids so please forgive me um, but yeah that I did want to put that out there for anybody that's watching and commenting because I really love the comments and the positivity that you guys send to me I love it and thank you so much I appreciate it as well and now one of the things that one of my girls, I'm not going to say who that person is, just out of confidenti confidentiality sake, there we go. But she and I, we were talking about how stressful things are these days um, and how that plays into our weight loss game, right? And I'm not going to lie, it has not been easy, especially since September. Uh, I've been going from the fire to the frying pan <laughs> and back again um, as far as... Uh, life stresses are concerned some I've been able to cope with some I indeed have not been able to but yeah uh, it's a very stressful time normally I would be keeping myself busy with cooking and crafts that is what I do all winter um, I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I am an excellent cook I ain't chubby for nothing I'm telling you <laughs> and uh, it was half the chicken sandwiches from Burger King but the other half was definitely well earned <laughs> but um yeah, I normally uh, cook and sell my food like pierogies and buns and stuff like that. Um, but this year, obviously, it's a no-go as well. I normally have a winter job bartending to make ends meet for, well, us in here and the horses out there. They don't come cheap, right? Neither kids nor horses come cheap. So I normally have a winter job bartending and that's not happening this year because of restrictions. And the other thing that I am completely completely missing I can do without the kitchen and I can do I love you guys I love your company but I can do without the bartending too you guys know that I don't drink <laughs> I don't I don't but I'm a good hostess and I've been told that I'm entertaining I guess so <laughs> uh, and I'm good company I, I'm non-judgmental so I make a good hostess and bartender but yeah that's not even happening this year um, so my whole craft thing went out the window because my tip money is usually what I use to do my little craft endeavors and I've done a few good ones over the last year. Uh, this past year was, I'll, I'll put bittersweet, just hold on a second, I gotta show you guys something here. Look at Diva, she's just being a wanker. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, oh. there we go. She is just Oh, to have a, a racehorse's energy. She's just giving her in that pen right now. She really did need to go out. <laughs> to take a moment to appreciate the beauty of it. <laughs> I sure am. Out my kitchen window every day. This horse is all business, I'm telling you. She's not one of the riders out here. This this girl is a business investment in a racehorse. So she's got a bit of a different temperament. But can you imagine being on her back? 
<laughs> there's only one or two riders that are uh have heart to get on her i'll put it that way <laughs> anyway sorry i just wanted to show you that because wow she's just kicking her up today <laughs> that's why i have to wait to get on my horses so anyways back to crafts <laughs> but yeah here was my latest craft before all of this hit pardon my kitchen floor in the background there but i made all of these that one is chantelle's bouquet and this one was my bouquet this was the reason why i really want to get married in the summer not the winter because these are not winter colors so <laughs> pray for me on that one anyways <laughs> and then this one is my other best friend christine which you guys haven't met up with her yet but you guys will eventually but I made every single one of these flowers that are on here. All roses. Can you tell I like roses? And then underneath is, I did all of that too. That There's beads hanging there. They were supposed to be, um, they were supposed to be for my wedding. And this is my daughter's bouquet. I made all of these from scratch. They took so they took a few months to make all of them and now my wedding's delayed <laughs> claremont and i in april will be together for 12 years and last year was the year that i finally picked to say okay let's do this <laughs> it was my choice and of course i had to pick that year of course i'll, I'll never end up getting married no i will i will but apparently now how they're doing weddings because of these restrictions is that you have to uh, go through a drive through so I'm trying to think of something snazzy so that when our papers come through that say that we're allowed to go get married and we have to go get married that it's probably going to be through a drive through on the back of my rusty truck <laughs> so let's see if I can pull something out of my butt as far as beauty for that's concerned in a craft so it's probably going to be sunflowers and roses, but that means that all of these bouquets mean pretty much nothing and I can give them away. <laughs> it's very frustrating, but yeah, that's, that's my craft. It's got to give you guys one more look at them. Aren't they beautiful? This, this was like, and I've got another one of these guys that I made to put in my hair and all of these, they were meant to be like a brooch bouquet if you look it up they're beautiful um i wanted a keepsake so that's why i did these guys but yeah it's all for naught but it was a lot of fun and they're really pretty and i love it so they stay in my black cabinet that you've seen in several several videos the guy behind me <laughs> which i made that too i did all of that uh sorry that's a bit dusty but i did all of that stained glass on there and ooh, <laughs> my rag, my drying rag, and there, and there. So, I love, love, love my crafts. I'm very, very much missing my crafts, especially as far as keeping, keeping busy, and the like. But it's just too expensive. That's why I started this channel. <laughs> this is my winter project instead, my craft, if you will, <laughs> as well as the losing weight part, right? So. Uh, I guess everything happens for a reason. God's telling me keep your hands off the crafts and on the air glider and everything will be okay. <laughs> I miss it. I miss it a lot. Um, the only thing that I can't do is count a cross stitch. No, I it is a rare person that has enough patience for that. My mother was one of those people. Just look at this. This is something that my mother made before she passed away. And if you look at it, it is indeed, oh pardon a little bit, it's in my kitchen so it's gotten a little bit of condensation from my stove. But yeah, all of that is counted cross stitch. And same thing with these guys, all counted cross stitch. And her shining glory was this, just hold on. This is the one that my mother made just for me and she ended up winning, I think it was first prize at the Prairie Seeds craft show. That's at the uh, the Red River X that gets put on here each year. But she was a master crafter. There's beadwork in this. It's all counted cross stitch. 
She got my hair in there and beadwork all the way down. I think it's absolutely lovely right down to there. And here's proof that it's just for me it is right there. My mom did that for me. So crafting has been a very big thing in our family. And like I said, I'm missing it today, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm going to take it out on my air glider and my horses in a good way, not in a bad way, of course. <laughs> okay. I'm going outside. I'm burning daylight. It's already like 4.30 and I want to get on my horse. So <laughs> here I go. I'm with Rasta now and Patty, look, pink. All of my geldings are secure enough in their male hood <laughs> that they can wear my pinks and my purples. <laughs> I got a few blues in there too. <laughs> there we go. I just tacked up. No, you can come back around, sweetheart. I just tacked up Rasta. I know, Kane. I love you still. Don't be jealous. <laughs> I'm just walking around Rasta and I'm going to get on him because he's still a little bit fresh. I know that if we get him out of the round pen that he's going to be a little bit spunky for Chantel. So we are going to get, I'm just taking him for a bit of a ride to get his shits and giggles out for the next couple of days. Come on, Gabby doll. You can take take that with you. Just bring it with you. Yeah, that's right. My knot came undone. There we go. And he'll be better. You being a good boy today. When isn't he a good boy? He went from us, then he came back. He's family. Right, Rasta? Right, Rasta? You're a good boy? <laughs> He's such a handsome boy, eh? Very rarely will you see... A horse that this isn't black this is dark bay because there is no such thing as black in horse racing and he's a thoroughbred uh but yeah that's about as dark as it as it gets for for race horses so he's beautiful hey diva she's coming in for from her exercise so that we can use the round pen yes you beautiful girl and beautiful man of course <laughs> but i could be biased that's my hubby <laughs> i low-key had children just for the extra barn help i swear <laughs> I can always get her out here when it comes to the horses. <laughs> She's doing so good. She's not being so lazy about it. As long as I say, you want to go for a ride? She's in there like a dirty shirt. Okay, so I'm walking out, Rust. I have so got to dig out this round pen. I meant to do that today, but I got cut off on other things. Come on, Ross. Rasta, let's go. Respect. <laughs> the showing him who's Boston when he knows I'm a big cushion is uh, <laughs> two different games. Oh, it's such a great evening. Right, Rasta? You being a good boy. Come on. Here, I'll see. I'll let you see what it's like. Hold on. Here we go. Come on. That's a good boy. Now we're going to go to the left. Come on. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. <laughs> So this is what it's like. <laughs> yes, you're being a very good boy and tolerant. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Oh, I'm not against the rails, dude. There we go. There, there's one lap around my round pen for you guys. <laughs> Come on. Come on, pick up a little bit. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. That's a good boy. There we go. Just for you guys. That's what it's like for one round around my round pen. <laughs> I'm going to let Gabby get on. I'm having too much fun. <laughs>
<laughs> my soldier. What my theory is, is that he'll behave himself because he knows the loving that he gets when he's in training. So if he's going to be a stubborn mule about it, I can always train somebody else, right, soldier? <laughs> That's lies. I'm training both of them, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> Thanks for getting on first. Why? Because my butt's not cold now. <laughs> Finally, I'm getting Gabby on a lead here. But she wants me to walk her around a little bit. But wait a second, where is she? There she is. Uh oh. You're like right behind me. <laughs> She's got my helmet and my flak jacket on, like I said. Wow, you look like an outrider. <laughs> should I let her go? I think that I should let her go. I'm sorry, you're doing just fine. Hold on, Ross. Hold on. Hold on. Go, be free, have fun. There we go. He's a wonderful babysitter. Well. <laughs> Good girl. Take him around. If he slows down, keep up his pace. There we go. Good girl, Gabby. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. You feel You know I love you? Yes. You know I'm proud of you? Yeah, I know you're proud of me. I hope so. Forever and ever, baby. There, I'm gonna let her have her fun. And then I'm going to untack him and then it's inside and I think I'm going to make something that I made already this week earlier, but it was fantastic. But the chickens got it because it was left out overnight. Ooh, oh, you did good. She trotted up. There we go. Baby steps. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go in and I'm going to make lentil soup and then I'm going to chill. Oh no, I got my air glider to deal with still too today. <laughs> Gonna try trotting it up? No. Come on, do it again. There you go, good girl. There we go. See, it's not so bad, right? There we go, I knew she'd do it. <laughs> okay, now that I'm inside, I am hangry. <laughs> um, maybe an ounce of chicken breast fell into my mouth right upon entry of the house <laughs> and i am going to have a bran muffin i made bra raisin bran muffins i made last night and well they're almost gone so i am having one for a snack while i'm making dinner because the soup's going to take at least an hour and a half and i am starving right now so yeah here check these guys out they are lovely and almost gone i swear there was two dozen there yesterday but yes, here's my snack. It's just a little muffin, three grams of fat, and I think six grams of fiber because I even put psyllium fiber in there. That is one potent puppy and healthy for you. So I'm scarfing this down before I even get on dinner. Dinner is set. This is such a great soup. It's very low fat and it's very high fiber. I think that there's the exact nutritional details of it and the recipe I will post below for anybody that wants to try it. It's vegetarian too for anybody that cares about that. Um, I do just for my guy, uh, but I am not opposed to going vegetarian for a night when vegetarian looks like 
well, that. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, it's a great meal for, well, a winter evening. I've been out all afternoon on the horses and everything. So doing something like that uh, is right up my alley right now. So I can't wait to dig in. Uh, the next thing I'm going to digest and then I'm going to get my butt on my air glider. So <laughs> keep my promises right. And I'm sure you guys don't need to see that. <laughs> but I will be back tomorrow for my channel's way in. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> and yeah, um, I hope everybody has a great evening and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Everyone, until then, have a great night and take care.